you can see I've placed some windows on the main floor. Uh, what I did was import that uh, window family from our uh, tutorial, the Autodesk tutorial, the uh, variable window size. It's a very handy family to insert. You insert it in the standard way and just uh, find the file on your hard drive that you collected under the folder called additional files. So once you have that, that window in, you can place your windows. I've got them all where I want them on the first floor and you can see I've just started the second floor. I want to go to the second level plan and just show you how on that plan uh, right now I have turned off my line weights turn on or off my line weights just to see it clearly uh, you can have an underlay on that plan so I'm looking for it there it is underlay currently set to none and what that's going to do is it's going to allow we're going to ask it to show a main floor underlay we're on level two but we want a main floor underlay and that's going to allow the main floor to go through so if you look very carefully you can see that window uh, ghosting through right there on the main floor so uh, that's how I lined up these windows so when I go to insert a window you can see I'm on my window uh, variable and I set my uh, settings here I want to be 900 12, 24 or, yeah that's right sill height head height will be uh, that'll adjust automatically we're at 12 and 24 and so when I go to insert that window you can s you can line it up I'll just zoom in and you can see it lining up with the ghost below just get it in there there we are click and now it's, a, it's lined up with the ghost below and after I'm done what I'm going to done that I'm going to finish the windows uh, on this left wing and then mirror it over to the right side just like we did with the interior walls.